So for those of you who have not seen the series before, this little guy here is someone I employ to keep a watch on the uh, the world, or, or at least our our map, to make sure all our towns nearby are doing well. So when we, this guy comes to our headquarters, it's never good. Let's see what he's got to say. Oh, okay. Right, okay, well we should probably check that one out. So we're going to go down here. Let's see, let's check on this hotel here. I wonder what it is. We've got to follow this down now. Okay, all right. Let's let's get a. Oh oh dear. Oh wow. What's happening? Why are all the buses empty? This is so weird. All right. Well, let's grab a a ride. Let's take one of these guys down to the next town. So I wonder what it could be. It's a very strange way to start the episode. I'll, I'll, just out of the blue, we're just really really running low on passengers, and I don't know why. We'll have to check it out. So now we're off. Let's check out Crossit Port. And let's see what the problem is. On the riggy, eh? Huh. That's strange. Because we've just... Oh no. Oh no. In the previous episode, the riggy came back, if you can remember. The riggy came back from its adventure when we were trying to find some more of the map. Well, we could have a look for the neighbouring islands, see, because originally I sent the boat out to try and conquer some more land, because there might be more towns we don't know about. But I sent I sent the Riggy off, and there's a whole other government, a whole other system over there we didn't even know about. And it looks like the Riggy has brought some sort of illness, like some sort of disease back. Oh, okay. <coughs> um, well, we're going to have to set some stuff up here. Because that's not good. I don't think the riggy is like actually causing a problem. There's only two crew actually on the riggy. If you go on here, you can see we only have a helmsman and uh, and someone to load it. So the only contact the riggy could have made with is one of these two people, which is interesting. All right, well let's let's interview the riggy as soon as it gets back to this dock. Let's check out what the the crew have to say for themselves. We'll ask them where their whereabouts have been because then we can find if there's a problem in those places we can then close say you went to a pub or something we can close the area down and make sure no one else gets it because that's the only thing we can do right so we're gonna have to just see here let's wait until the riggy pulls in we'll have to stop it and interview the crew all right riggy stop there buster you've been caught let's check him out what's the crew gotta say all right Go on, on your way, Ricky. Right then, off we go. Let's go to cross it and let's close the bar down. Let's shut this place down. Demolish it to the ground. I don't know what else to do about it. That building is infected. Do you know what um, we should probably do? Is we should uh, we should go talk to the government. I think we should do. All right, let's do that. Oh wow, look at this traffic jam of buses. We got to fix this. That is crazy. I can't believe that. That is ridiculous. Anyway, let's go talk to the government here. We want to say... What What if we demolished every... Because, I mean, it worked for the part, like the bar. It worked. We demolished it and there's no more infections from what I can see. So what if we demolished every building with an infected inside? Where did the infected go? Hmm. We need, like, some sort of building. Maybe like the first hospital for the island. We could do that. Let's do it. Let's get a hospital. I think the main obvious spot would be to connect uh, West Hampton to the nearby towns because it is the major city, the capital city. If we connect connect those two towns, Summerland and uh, Fancy Gap, Fancy Gap's already connected to the rest. And then we build a hospital here. That means we can actually do that. Let's, let's do that now. I'm going to set that up. Alright, well, I've got the hospital down. I think this should do for now. Like, it's basically just a big box to store people. And I think if we just put all the people in here who are ill, maybe they'll get better. Like, if we put all the ill people together, maybe, like, they'll improve? I don't know, but I've just invested heavily into this building. So let's see what happens. We need to connect the road up now. So let's go to... Whoa, let's have a look here. What's going on with these guys? Crazy. Uh, let's go over to the uh, the streets now because we've got to build a street haven't we so if we go to street 
and then we're going to go from Fancy Gap. Uh, it's going to probably have to be from this road. So we'll go with Dirt Road because it's cheaper. We'll just grab... Oh, no, that doesn't work. Alright, we'll get a straight road then. Alright. Can we plug that in there without it doing weird stuff? We can. Cool. Now what we'll do is we'll do that. We'll follow the train track. In fact, you know what? We can actually just avoid the train track completely, can't we? If we just do that like that, and then we plug that into there... Right, and then that's good. And then now, we'll just bring that to there. I, I didn't really want to b build a road like this through the middle of all this forest. But because I'm such a big company now, it doesn't really matter if I have an effect on the environment or not. I can do what I want and no, like, no one's going to question me because I'm so powerful. I have no problem destroying the environment. No, no one's cares, you know. I, I'm not going to get sued or anything. I'm too powerful. And even if I was, I would just pay the money off. And no, not, no change would happen, so I'm completely fine. We just got to build a road over now across this forest to Summerland to West Hampton. So we'll go from, take it from here, sure. Go across the tracks, of course. Go down here. Alright. Spending a lot of money actually, but I think it'll be worth it. Because we have to connect the towns anyway, so we've got to do it at some point. Uh, I don't really want them running past the front of my house, but I'm going to have to do it because it's pretty much my only choice. And then we might as well just hook that up to like uh, to there as well. So we'll just make that a small street. No, a medium street. We'll do that and then we'll make that straight. And then there we go. Cool. Okay, cool. We've got that going now. Let's, um, let's have a look how this hospital does. Okay, alright. So we've got a few people coming down the road towards the hospital. Nice, good stuff. Yeah, a few people coming along. Wow, quite a few people coming along. Wow, it's, oh, there's a lot of people coming. What on earth? There is so many people coming. What is happening? What? Oh dear. They're all infected. All right, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put another building in. Cause this is too, too many people. I need to just fix this now. All right, there's another building. We have some more capacity now, lovely. That's good. We need that. There's a lot of people leaving actually. Are they getting better or are they just spreading it? <laughs> I mean, I don't really want to spread it. That's the big problem I have right now. Look at my towns. They're so small. <laughs> so much smaller, look. Although the population is going up, to be fair. But look, they're getting they're tiny. It's like 100 less. Loads of people have died. A lot of people have died. Right, let's just get into enforcing lockdown. Here we go. It looks like things have settled. We still have some stragglers coming along and coming in. But there's less. There's way less people, so I think maybe we solved the problem to some degree. I think this episode we're probably going to concentrate on building this hospital and making it look good. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to make a start. I am going to start by making a nice square, I think. We'll work from there, so we'll put a square in. Like that. Uh, is that pretty? Not a square, a rectangle. Yeah, you know what I mean anyway. We'll put a rectangle in, lovely. Okay, so I'm going to chop all these trees down now. So let's just chop them all down. Um, and we can make some space for some more buildings here. Alright, and here we are. As you can see, I've spent quite a lot of money on this hospital. But I think it's going to be worth it because this means that we can have a lot of healthcare for a long time. Um, now, um, I think this does set up the future because this is only designed really to save me money. Because... I don't want to have to do this in the future where it's going to cost me more money. So I think this will last a long time, but let's show you the hospital here. Uh, and a quick thing as well, here's the hospital. It looks very nice. I like it. I did my best with it. I think it looks good. Uh, but here's the thing guys. Now you'll see this hospital here, it doesn't have a name. So that's right, what I want you to do, I want you to go down to the comment section and the most liked comment in the comment section on this video uh, before the next episode airs will be the name of this hospital there you go guys the power is in your hands please be something sane <laughs> anyway i'll see you in the next video guys thanks again for watching uh, and hopefully we can bring an end to the virus in the next episode but i'll see you all very soon goodbye